In this video, whoa, that is like a whole intestine. We'll be touring some of India's most daring street food in Assam's capital of Guwahati. Oh, it's looking me in the eyes. Where does it end? Where does it begin? All right, here we go. But first, let's back up. In this series, we're exploring India's northeast region, a place completely different from mainland India. Here you're selling white rats for consumption. They look like they didn't make the cut for a science lab. Our journey begins in the state of Assam. In the countryside, you'll find villagers dining on pork, goat meat, and a long list of crawly creatures. Can you eat it like this? Yes, I can. Isn't that exciting news? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. Right now, we're in Assam's bustling capital. I need some water. <laughs> and I'm on a mission to see what makes street food here oh, that's awesome. different from anywhere else. People are crazy about pork in Assam right now. From some far out fishy favorites. You know what it has? Big juicy intestines. To an unlikely bird meat. Served up like you've never seen before. It all starts here at the fish market. We're starting our day at Ujjan Fish Market. This place is packed and busy, and here we have a lot of unique fish like this. Look at the nose on this thing. It's got a bigger snout than me. Oh, I got fish on my jacket. This is Brahmaputra, one of Central and South Asia's most vital rivers, traveling 1,800 miles from the Himalayas. Residents of this city are blessed with an abundant supply of fresh fish. Unsurprisingly, fish is a major protein in Assamese cuisine. This morning, we're going to take a look around the market and see what kind of unique seafood we can find. Then, we're going to eat it. Let's go. For vendors here, the stench of fish in the morning is the smell of money. They ready their stalls before the sun rises. And with enough luck, they sell out before mid-morning. looking for the biggest fish we can find in the market, starting with this giant cheetah right here. My man Korban, he is chopping the heck out of this thing, scaling it with this round, awesome knife. Our first purchase is a cheetah. They're known as some of the best freshwater fish in this region, renowned for their sweet, juicy meat. A few vendors down, I spot another giant treasure that wouldn't get a second glance where I come from in the USA. Hilgaria fish, as it's known locally, you might know it as the common carp. This is my man Santi Singh right here. We both have great hair, I want to point that out. You have good hair, and so, but so do I. Did you know they got this big? It's like a shark. I was very surprised by the price of this fish. I thought maybe, I don't know, 60, 50 bucks. $163, but it's worth it because inside, you know what it has? Big, juicy intestines. We're gonna rip them out, we're gonna eat them real soon. From here, after we collect all our fish parts, we're heading to the fish hotel. It seems like a place fish would sleep or seafood would have one night stands. It's, uh, it's not that at all. Our fresh seafood finds will be cooked here. This is Trishul Hotel. Due to a linguistic misunderstanding during the British occupation of India, hotel here can also mean restaurant. And in this restaurant, our two giant fish will be transformed into two Assamese dishes. Today we're eating with our hands, right? We have to eat with our hands because people in Assam love to eat with the hands. Joining me today, Shamalima, a local food enthusiast who shares her food he finds on social media, but not always to fanfare. We'll find out why soon. First, deep fried fish. Fillets from both fish are marinated with salt and turmeric. If you're expecting the usual Indian masala onslaught of 20 powerful spices, well, don't. At least in this hotel, this is all they use, and this minimalist, seemingly un-Indian approach is a defining trait of Assamese cooking. That could contend with the KFC skin crunch. It is extremely crunchy, a lot of texture. It's light and it's subtle on flavors. You want to have some chilies with the fried fish? Um, is that what you're doing? No, if you want. Yeah, I will if you do. Yeah, I would, I would love to. It's a little bit. It's a little bit spicy. I have a sore throat too, that was a bad idea. Um, what I love about this is the fish is really fatty. It's rich. There's no muddiness whatsoever. It tastes heavy and oily, but it tastes delicious. What separates Assam from the rest of the country? India is a Hindu majority country. Most of the population here is vegetarian and non-veg eaters strictly avoid beef, pork and insects. But that's what makes Assam and other northeastern states contrast to the rest of the mainland. Assam has a really diverse culture. It has the most number of tribes here than any other state in India. 
Not only is Assam influenced by its own diverse population, but it also draws inspiration from neighboring Asian countries like Thailand and China. Consequently, Assam and its cuisine are vastly different from India's internationally known signature dishes. Like our next dish. Fish intestine fried rice. Whoa! First, the flavor base. Fried dried chilies, onion, garlic, turmeric, and salt. Now, simply toss in the carp intestines. Mix well and let them soak in all that flavor. Finally, add rice. Fish intestine is one of the most loved delicacies in Assam. This one is the intestine. What the? Where does it end? Where does it begin? Oh, it's looking me in the eyes. All right, here we go. I need some water. <laughs> me too. It has some real personality. It's got a <laughs> lot of flavor. Literally inside, it is like a Play-Doh of mushy intestinal belongings. Mm. I can't believe that this is also an intestine. I have to take one bite of this. Mm -hmm. Wow, this one's big and chewy. It's almost like squid. I like the texture. It's just about what's inside that, <laughs> that bothers me. Usually, it's what's on the inside that counts. Mm -hmm. uh, here, not the case. Tell me a little bit more about you. I have been in Guwahati for like 15 years. I do content creation full time. I'm focusing mostly in Northeast food. I want to show it to the world. That's what I love to do. I find India to be a very nationalistic country. People are very proud. The content you make about food here, how is it received by people in other parts of India? Are they open-minded about it? People are judgmental because in Northeast India, people love to have pork. Is that something you're trying to fight back against? Yes, yes, but uh, I have to work on it a little bit more, right? This is a great breakfast. We have a lot more to see. Let's get to it. After checking out of the fish hotel, we're checking in here. Food whipped up fast, where they're serving up the perfect union between classic Chinese and Indian food. I'm very curious about your restaurant, because I've been to India many times before, but I've never had chow mein. In Chinese, chow mein literally means fried noodles. Its endless variations are beloved worldwide. Here in Assam, well, Mr. Bora made his chow mein shop into a neighborhood staple. People come from all over Assam only to try the chow mein at this place. We started this place in 1987. Ah, September March Saturday. Yeah, in September 4th. At first, he started as a cart, and then from cart, he grew to this restaurant today. Oh, fantastic. That's a real success story. I love it. For you, what is the secret to good chow mein? First, stir fry capsicum and onion. Then give the oil some time to extract those flavors. It's all about veggies, like you put fresh veggies in the chow mein. Next, a mountain of sliced cabbage and carrot. Finally, it's time for the noodles to join the tawa. Hit this massive food heap with a little bit of flavor in the form of salt, black pepper, and soy sauce. Now, Assam's best chow mein is complete. Technically, you could eat it like this, or you could get it wrapped up. Fry an egg and a roti together on the tawa until they bind into one flavorful entity. Add in a mixture of cabbage, carrot, onion, and capsicum. Layer on noodles, then cube chicken. I've had chow mein and I've had roti, but having them together is simply genius. Just the outside already looks so delicious. The roti with the egg wrapped in, there's little crispy bits around it. Mm -hmm. Oh man, super greasy, super fluffy egg. You get some crispiness of the veggies. I love it. The chicken in there is delicious. It tastes like soy sauce. It tastes like MSG. Put some red on there. This looks like neon ketchup. It is so bright. Almost like a sweet and sour sauce, which is a great contrast to this very heavy, oily, savory food. I'm looking at the menu now. It looks like this costs about one to two dollars. And there's a lot of high quality ingredients here. There's chicken, there's eggs. I think I saw some caviar. I did. Right now, we're headed for one of India's most confusing quick bites. It's called pita. These long looking white cigars, that's pita, but also this brown one is pita. So what does pita mean? Pita is a crepe. It could be sweet, but it could also be savory. It can look like a pancake, a fritter, or a dumpling. So it can take any form. It can take any form. It could be round. Yeah. It could be a cube. No, 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 not cube. Could it be a parallelogram? What? 
gear, these street food vendors are serving a pita two ways. Our round pita is a deep fried glob of sweet dough made by mixing sticky rice paste and jagadi. Jagadi is a local type of cane sugar with a molasses like taste. <laughs> Once the batter goes from pale white to dark delicious golden brown, it's ready to eat. I want to bust it open. Oh yeah, doughy on the inside, crunchy on the outside, like a golden brown shell. Mmm. Oh yeah, the sugars become so crunchy, huh? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's like really dense in the middle. I enjoy that a lot. So is this more of a dessert or more of a snack? It's more of a snack kind of a thing. We have this with tea. Let's jump into this. Our rolled pita begins with a thin spread of sticky rice powder. This one is stuck. What's inside of here? Is it tobacco? Here we have... Weed? No. no. Sesame and jaggery. Uh -oh. Black sesame. That's so cool, I guess. Finally, roll it up tight and enjoy. Huh. So the outside is like powdery, so that makes it a little bit drier as you're eating it. I have one more solution to this. You can just dip it in your tea. Give it a little bit of a dip. That's a good idea. Oh yeah, much better. As soon as you put it in the tea, it starts to yep. break down like an Oreo cookie. So you can taste the sweet jaggery inside and the black sesame too. Very nice. Within India, are people traveling to Northeast India? Yes. Not as much in the past? No. They used to think that not isn't part of India. We eat like ants and such kind of things. So it is true. That used to be the only kind of stereotype. Now things are changing. What is the cause for the change? Social media. People are getting more views. Allowing people to be exposed to different ways of life over time and want to even mm -hmm. check it out for themselves. Yes. That's fantastic. Today's final stop includes a bird and a beast. I'm talking about pork, uncommonly found in mainland India, but seemingly ubiquitous in the Northeast. Here, they make it into a curry. 20 years ago, pork was strict no for the general Assamese people. But with time and with the influence of the neighboring states, people are crazy about pork in Assam right now. Eating pork is either discouraged or prohibited by India's religious majorities. To the country's mainstream culture, pork may be seen as dirty or impure. So how do the mainlanders react if they decide to make the journey here to Assam? We meet people from all around India. Whenever they come here, we serve pork. So I hardly have seen any people who say no. Do you ever have people from North India come here to your restaurant and try pork for the yes. first time? Yes, they have. And what yeah, do they think? They said, why? They haven't tried it before. Start by stir-frying chunks of potato. Add ginger, green chilies, salt, turmeric powder, black pepper, and cumin seeds. Now, the glorious pork. It's flavored with turmeric, tomato, onion, and cumin powder. The final ingredients, water and coriander. Time to dine. This is the pork curry, and how could you deny this? Big ASS pieces of pork. These look incredible. Let's go for it. Pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. Mm-hmm. The meat is tender. It tastes like it's been braised. It's really soft. Tons of turmeric flavor. It's spicy, super savory. I swear, pork curry is like my new favorite. Have it with some rice. The way the curry blends with the rice. It's beautiful. I love it. Is there a part of the pig that you like most? I love the meat part. Well, yeah, most people would say meat. Yeah, probably not the bones. In Assam, are there other animal proteins that people can put into a curry? Some parts of villages in Assam, they have toad. That sounds delicious. But then there's also the pigeon. Next up, another peculiar protein. Of course, pigeons can be spotted everywhere in India, but only in the Northeast is their culinary potential truly unlocked. This is Assam's famous pigeon curry. The freshly dispatched pigeons are given a little bit of a dip in boiling water to ease feather extraction. Then, any remaining hair is singed off. After cleaning and butchering, they're ready for the pan. A pan of hot oil receives bay leaves, cinnamon, and cardamom. Toss in onions, let them fry. Then it's time for hacked up bits of pigeon meat. Flavor with garlic paste, salt, black pepper, cumin seeds, and turmeric powder. Adding water and cooking it down makes the meat soft and the gravy thick. Finish with potatoes. This looks delicious. It looks slightly different. My only concern here is all the small bones. It's very bony and less meat. Bony. One thing I've never been called ever. Yeah, uh, chunky. I've been called chunky. Thick, yeah. large and in charge. Husky, plus sized, voluptuous. Those are things I've been called, but never bony. The gravy is delicious. It's very savory, peppery. It's really a full, 
delicious flavor. The peppery pigeon curry is a good medicine for flu and cold. Oh, is that right? Because I have COVID right yes. now. <laughs> Not COVID. The meat is interesting. It's dense. It's kind of squishy. It's like a dark meat. When was the last time you ate pigeon? Five, six years ago. That's a long time. Do you think maybe five, six years from now you try it again? Maybe yes. Yeah. Or maybe longer. Give yeah. it some more time. Yeah. One of the big reasons I wanted to come to Northeast India is because the food variety is so different. And I guess one of my missions during the series is to help redefine what is Indian cuisine and what is seen as normal Indian cuisine. Because right now I feel like that definition is too slim and it's excluding a lot of different groups and people, cultures and ethnicities. This today is just the beginning. I plan to see a lot more all the way from here to Nagaland. Have you ever tried a fruit bat? No, I haven't, haven't tried. We're gonna try a fruit bat. Okay, I'm looking forward to your Nagaland episode. No, I'll send you some fruit bat. Best Ever Food Review Show is a small team of independent creators and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in our description to join our Patreon and receive exclusive benefits. A piece. We also don't use that much of oil uh, in our food. Like this is this is from the fish. It's not from, uh, we are not adding extra that much of oil. It's, it's from the fish. Yeah, blame it on the fish. Do you think he got a transplant as well? Is this real? Real hair? Mine's technically real. I just reorganized it in my head. World's biggest chopsticks. Can I scoop you this one? Yes. Do you want okay, more oil? Oh, thank you. Well, is that too much? Here, get some oil. Uh, no, 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 no. No. No, please. Boom, guys, that is the end of this video. Video number one in northeastern India in the state of Assam. A huge and quick thank you to Shamali for joining me today. You can find her right here on Instagram. This is her handle, her name, type it in. You can find her fun food adventures here in Assam and beyond. Otherwise, guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Yes. Yes. A piece. Do I? Oh, yeah. Usually I say some corny lines, but I'm good. I'm good.